Uh, temperatures are warming up, so you don't have to worry about that black ice tonight. Uh, maybe by the time we head into early Friday morning, that might be a problem. Uh, going to talk about warm temperatures coming up, but first let's talk about the wind because I am expecting another windy night, but nothing like what we had around last night. Uh, gusts jumping up toward 30 miles per hour. Uh, the rain has already started and it's moving northward quickly now across uh, not only Trumbull County, but over into Mercer County, Hermitage and Sharon uh, dealing with some rainfall that extends southward through Mahoning. A little heavier down across Columbiana County, especially uh, out here west of Lisbon over toward Hanoverton, New Garden, the Guilford Lake area getting heavy rainfall down to East Liverpool and the rain just keeps coming tonight. Uh, going to deal with this rain on and off through the evening. Uh, the risk of thunder very low, but it is possible not only tonight, but again tomorrow as a cold front drops through here. So here we go. Rain likely this evening could see anywhere from a quarter to a half inch of rainfall, possibly a little more. Some of that rain uh, sustains over your location. Uh, the risk of rain sticking around through the night. Temperatures keep climbing right into early tomorrow morning. We're going to start the day near 60 degrees for your Thursday morning start and then waiting on a cold front. Now here's the problem tomorrow. This cold front is going to take its time moving through here and as it does, rain will just train. That's a one shower after another right along this front. So looking for some heavier rainfall across Mahoning, Trumbull, Mercer and Lawrence counties, especially we're well over an inch a possibility here as we go into tomorrow afternoon. That's why that flooding potential is there uh, through tomorrow afternoon and Evening. Then that front drops out of here and temperatures start sliding. Now, talked about that black ice. That could be possible again Friday morning because temperatures going to fall into the upper 20s once again for your Friday morning. But Friday does look like a better day. Some sunshine around, just cooler temperatures. So temperatures right now, mid 50s across the area. They won't change much tonight, at least on the downward side. They're going up. So windy, rain likely, chance of thunder, gust up to 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow, a high approaching 60 degrees early and then starting its slide through the afternoon into the evening. Rain could be heavy at times tomorrow with some gusty wind around. Your next seven days showing you cooler temperatures on Friday. Looks dry after a cold start. Saturday looks better than it did yesterday, but still a small chance of a rain or a snow shower. That system's trying to sink farther south, but we're going to keep an eye on that uh, for the first part of the weekend. Sunday looks dry near 40, and temperatures keep climbing next week. 43 on Monday, 50 Tuesday, right back into the low 50s on Wednesday. And that's going to be a wet period once again next week with those warmer temperatures. So we're into the coldest two weeks of the year on average. <laughs> Not really proving that way this year. And you said it's going to kind of shape up to be similar, kind of warmer with the next yeah. few weeks. Yeah, we have a few weeks of warm weather here. After that, a different story possibly, but a few weeks of warm weather on the way. Sure, we'll, we'll get it eventually. That's right. <laughs>